Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson at Velocity 2013 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Arvind Jain. Arvind, how are you doing? Good. Good. How about you? Good. I'm doing well. So you're the director of engineering for Make the Web Faster. Yes. At Google. Yes. So Google actually has a, a whole group to make the web faster. So they're investing a lot of resources to make this web go faster. Why, why are they investing in this? That's right. We, we do have a dedicated team you know, whose goal is solely to make the internet fast. Um, you know, it's a really important problem for, for Google. You know, we really believe in making sure that we don't waste anybody's time on the web. You know? And in fact, you know, it, is, it relates very closely to our mission. Um, our mission is to organize the world's information and make it available and accessible to all the users. Um, and information is not really useful you know, if it takes too long you know, to come to the users. So from the very beginning you know, of, um, you know, of our life as a company, we focused on speed and tried you know, everything possible to actually make sure that our services and in general the web is really, really fast for is, users. Is that separate from like make the web personal? Because I know that Google does a great thing for me with my Google Now, it gives me personal, personalized internet. Right. Basically things I would be interested in, I find myself clicking on it all the time. Is that coming to me really fast as well? Are you guys speeding that up? Uh, this effort that I am part of is actually about making the internet fast. Not just Google services, but any, any, uh, internet, any internet you know service that you use uh, from any device. So this is more about changing the core technology of the internet to make it faster. Uh, and then we use this technology to make our services, for example, Google Now faster. Yeah, okay. So when you say devices, you, 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 with the proliferation of devices, there's watches, glasses, phones, computers, uh, you name it, now GE, the industrial internet, big giant things are connecting. Right. And we have more people and we have more services. How are you guys going to keep up with that proliferation of everything happening? Right, I mean, you know, this is this is the future. Every device, you know, will be connected to the internet. Um, you know, from a single home. You know, today, you know, or like, you know, if you flash back a few years back, there would be one device connected to the home router and accessing the internet. Today, you know, there may be like ten or twenty. I don't know the actual number. You know, there are research on this. And in the future, there'll be hundreds of devices. Everything in in, in your home, and everything that you can imagine, will be communicating to some other device. Um, I think the technology will scale. Uh, you know, it's always been the case. You know, you know, some you know people worry about it. You know that you know, oh, oh my God, what's going to happen in the future when you know there's so many devices? There'll be you know hundred times more devices on the web. But the web will scale. The web has always scaled, and it scales because you know you know the technologists are smart, and the whole industry actually works on this problem. So as the growth happens, everybody is working hard in, in making you know to make sure that you know the internet can actually scale to that demand. So is Google Fiber, and is that part of your group as well? Uh, Google the Fiber is one of the things that I, I used to work on. I don't work on it anymore. Okay. Is that something that's going to come to more people in more places? Because to me, that's one thing that seems obvious to speed up the web, give faster connections to everyone. Yeah. Is well, that that's, that's the goal for sure. Um, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not, I don't know what the actual rollout plans are, but but I mean, of course, the goal with Google Fiber always has been, to, you know, we want to provide it to as many users as possible. I mean, we have really good feedback from people. People love mm -hmm. it. So, and you know, it's really good to, you know, for the speed of the web. So yes, I hope that in the future it's available to more users. So what is right now the biggest engineering challenge that you see in front of everyone in, around the world to speed up the web? Yeah, it's actually a very good question. Um, I want to, you know, uh, say something before I answer that. The our goal um, of what we're working towards at Google is to make internet instantaneous. So mm -hmm. you don't have to wait anymore. You know, ten, 10 years from now, if you ask a kid, uh, if you tell him that you know, 10 years back, you had to sort of, you know, you, you would go type a URL in, in the browser, and then you'll hit enter, and then you'll wait for five seconds, and then the page comes up. Or, or you, you know, or you, you know, you'll click on a video link, and it takes one minute you know, before it starts. You know, he would sort of, you know, just it would be hard for him to believe. That's what we are actually, you know, uh, aiming for. You know, we want the internet to be instantaneous. instantaneous. And it's, you know, it's not a big thing to ask for. You know, TV used to be instantaneous. I think with digital TV, it's actually going backwards. But you know, you, you could flip a channel. There was no wait, right? Um, so we are actually very far away from it. We have to make things almost like hundred times faster to achieve that. Um, and today, it takes on average about five seconds 
to you know for a page to load yep. we want it to take 50 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds yeah. right so that's a, that's a big improvement and i think there is not one thing that will solve this um, you have to improve really all the elements of the internet and that starts with you know this phone um, the hardware on this phone the software on this phone which includes the browser it includes you know the the physical networks through which this phone communicates to the web servers um, developers you know all the people who are attending this conference today they need to actually really you know come up with new techniques to build web pages so that they're really really fast um, so it's, it's you know it's really you know I, I see challenges pretty much in every single area you know that makes yeah. up the internet yeah yeah so something like LTE Five yeah. years from now, will be an LTE two or X or yeah, there is an know, advanced LTE standard already uh, that's being uh, worked on, and uh, we should see uh, the rollouts from the advanced LTE soon, and that actually uh, gets speeds up to one gigabits per second over the radio. And so then, that's a big jump, and you know those networks are going to come. And then thirty years from now, kids will say, "Can you believe they used fiber?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that, I think that's that's an interesting question. I mean, I. I'm not sure that every every communication will be over radio interfaces. Yeah, uh, that's that's something that I actually I'm not sure of, and I think the fiber will be there to stay. Um, but but less and less, you know, you'll see less, you know, less of that fiber. All the devices, for example, in your houses, they won't be wired, but the house itself may be wired. Yep, yep. So how has the Velocity conference been for you? Um, in the last, you've been to a few of them. Right. Yeah. Velocity is a really, really good conference. I mean, the, the best thing that I like about it is uh, I meet like-minded people. Everybody who want, you know, share this goal of making the web fast. Um, I meet them here, and, and generally, you know, it's hard to meet them. You know, in this quantity, you know, the share the number of people that come here, it's actually hard to have that kind of uh, get together, you know, in, in other places. So that's that's the number one thing Excellent. that I like about Velocity. Excellent, Arvind. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you.